And once you've knocked out your holes in the, this is medium density foam, this patient's have got the clinical signs of ruptured plantar plate on the second and synovitis of the third MPJ. And then she's tried orthotics and we've had a cortisone injection and now we're gonna make a DOD. Um, and then this needs to be just trimmed up. So it'll follow the uh, digital crest line like this. And then we'll shape it up now. So this is, then you just cut this according to the digital crest of the foot. Exactly that way. dorsal flap has to be longer than the plantar flap. Okay. And they've got to be beveled down so they're not taking up too much room. Normally at this point in time the patient thinks you're nuts because I don't think you're going to fit this shoe on. And I just reassure our patient that it will be fine, don't worry because when you impregnate this with the silicon rubber, it will compress down significantly. Use um, a lower density foam for perhaps people with more fragile skin, or you're not trying to change the structure much, and you can use, a, there's a high density foam too that some people can tolerate, and you can do more structural stuff with. We're trying to hold the digit in the right spot. Typically, you're going to lose about um, a third to two thirds of the bulk once you impregnate this with a silicon rubber. You can do a little trial seating. It's not hurting, is it? No. And then if you just mark that again. silicon into so there's two part you can use other silicon rubber this is nice because it's a dental silicon rubber it's very inert it's unlikely to upset the skin um, so there's two part mixing with a, like a catalyst and you usually just cover that over the top like that like so and whatever blunt sort of instrument to mix it up and typically we've got our bit of glad wrap ready to go over the top show you how we use it in just a second. Mix it up so it's pretty uniform in colour. And then that needs to be impregnated into the foam so that it's got some the foam gives the structural integrity but the the rubber makes it conform to whatever shape we've got to deal with. And you can also hold the digits in the place that you want it to be in. patient typically still thinks you're nuts but that's okay and then what we could do is partially there is room here to trim off more material if need be but because this is not post-operatively you can be a little bit more aggressive with how you hold things now just relax your foot that's it thank you and now I'm going to correct the second and the third down a little bit which will then hold the lesser MPJ in place I'm leaving some bulk here and here it'll expand it will push on the digit when the shoe goes on can you just open that up and I'm just going to hold this, see if you can pop that in. It should go in fine. It'll feel snug, but it shouldn't hurt you. 
Yeah, it'll squash down. There you go. Now, if you just pull that fairly snugly for me, please, because we're going to get you to walk with that now. And we'll get you to walk up and down the passage usually three times. So covering about 50 metres. Yeah. And it will be then set. So then we just clean off the excess like you would with any of these sort of digital splints. And then there's room to take it down if you need to because it's pushing too hard on one digit or another. This is really just a clean up of the splint. Sometimes these edges can cause a bit of irritation, but it's worth the patient just using it for a few days.